see my wavy lines? Now I'm going to take a much darker brown I'm going to go over the planks so that you can see that the planks are individual strips of wood. I'm using a little bit of water just to make the brown stand out. I'm doing now is I was using a very orange brown over there. I want to make my brown a little darker so believe it or not I'm actually using a little bit of my blue here and you can see hopefully that it is making a much darker brown than over there. Who would have thought? Blue into orange. I'm going to leave our floor to dry. For the moment, I'm quite happy with how it looks. I might add a few finishing touches with my pencil crayons later on. Around the edge of your stage here, it's often very ornate or very decorative. So here you can have quite a lot of fun. You can make it quite curly. You can add columns if you want to add columns. And then the two things that very often theatres have, and that is the tragedy comedy masks. They usually stand up here, and I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they look like masks, and the one's a sad face, and the other one's a happy face. Those are the two different types of genres that first appeared on the Greek stage. And a genre means a type. So the sad face meant tragedy, and tragedy was a play that did not have a happy ending. Comedy didn't have to be ha-ha funny. Comedy was actually any play that had a happy ending where people didn't die. So, very often you find that represents the theater. So I wanna do two little masks up at the top just to give a nod to the Greek theater. I'm using a fairly flexible but still fairly stiff cardboard and I'm gonna use my scissors to cut out a nice arch. Remember to measure carefully. I measured before this. Right, I've trimmed it to the size. Now I'm going to get fancy with the top. I did a little bit of research and I've drawn out my design and I've just finished sketching it out now with my putty eraser and my pencil. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start putting in some of the details with my special markers. Now my markers are quite nice because they're just like a coating but they're extra thick. I'm going to use grey here because I don't want it to really overpower my stage but I want it to have some nice details. Like I said, these bits around it are usually pretty ornate. We're going to attach our surround to our stage. Now, at this point, it might be a good idea for me to say that if we're hanging curtains and we have something in the front here, you might want to do this after you've done your curtains. I'm going to do mine before, but whatever's easiest for you. I found that sticky tape works best for me. I think we're looking pretty good. Next up, we're gonna to attempt to do some curtains for our theater. If you don't have fabric at home, don't worry. Cardboard or colored paper will work just as well. So I've drawn a curtain for that side of my theater. And I've left this side a bit bigger 
so that you can see how to trim it. So I'm putting it on the inside to measure where my where my sides are so that I can measure it and put it into place. You'll see this side looks really nice. And all I need to do is add some folds with my blue pencil crayon. If you do have fabric at home, I'm going to show you how to do a quick curtain. So I've cut my fabric so it's nice and square. It covers approximately half of my stage. So I'm going to want to do two of these. Now, I'm going to use a kebab stick and I'm going to poke a hole through my box. This is going to be our curtain rail. So ideally, we'd actually be able to move our curtains aside. This may be another one of those times where you get an adult to help you out. Aha! Success! You should be able to see my society stick goes all the way across, like a curtain rail. Now I'm going to cut a few holes into my fabric. Again, you need pretty sharp scissors for this, so if you need to ask mom or dad for some help, please do. I'm going to fold down the top and I'm just going to cut a little hole. So I folded it and when I open it you should be able to see there's a teeny hole over there. Okay, I've cut teeny holes all across the top now. Now we're ready to thread our curtain through our curtain rail. Right, we have most of our theatre built. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the backdrop and I'm going to put our stage on. Remember our stage? It seems to have dried quite nicely. It's not looking as orange, it's looking more brown. And there we have it, ladies and gents. Our theatre is ready for our production. Next week, we're going to see if we can draw some farm animals so we can make our characters and maybe do a little bit of set design by making our own props.